Oh, look at all that steam. Hey guys, okay, so look how it came out. But, um, keeping it real, I think I did need to add a little bit. Well, I'm sorry, it's steaming up. Um, hold on. I'm going to, when I make the next batch in a few minutes, I'm going to add a little more liquid because to me it didn't come out um, fluffy. It just came out, um, how do I say, al dente. So I'm going to, just like it's done and it's like, well, since I'm using it for fried rice, I'm not throwing this out. Okay, I'm going to just mix it in. But, dang, it makes a lot for just one cup. But, yeah. So, um, but if I was making it for, like, to for my when I make my gumbo and stuff, um, I would want it fluffier than this. So, I know even from doing it on the stove, um, that um, I have to put more liquid when it's done. Um, when I do it on the stove. So, but if you do, this is, this is the thing though. If you do too much, um, liquid though, it does get a, a gummy. And what is it called? Um, mushy. So you kind of have to, you have to be careful with it. Like I know that. Cause even from doing it on the stove, like there was one time on the stove, I made it like really perfect. And then the other time I couldn't, it, I had to add more liquid and this and that. The only time it comes out 100% perfect is in that little rice cooker I had. <laughs> That's the only time it comes out fluffy and everything. But yeah, so I did it, you guys, though. Look, ah, I'm so excited. I'm just excited because it did it. Like, I was like, the last time it said error. But so yeah, so I'm going to be making my fried rice, but I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. But I, I definitely... In, I definitely need this to get cold so I can do it. But, yeah, you guys, so I did it. I'm proud of myself that I actually finally did something in my Instapot because I was honestly just going to keep it in the box. <laughs> just kidding. All right, you guys, so I will be making my fried rice tomorrow. I'm just going to get my rice done tonight so that um, it's cooled and everything. And then I, I don't have, the only thing is I don't have my wok, so um, I got to do it in that skillet over there, but it, it'll be all right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make my next batch though with, uh, I want to say half a cup more water than this. But I don't want it too soft either because it is going to be fried rice. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night, Monday, uh, Tuesday night. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, everyone. Okay, so I did my second uh, batch right here. Whoa. I don't want the steam to get up there. And this came out exactly the way I like my rice. Fluffy. Stirring it around a bit. So, I'm going to have to let these cool before I can make my fried rice. But... I just added a little more broth. I ran out of broth, so I had to um, add uh, just a little more water, like almost half a cup more water. So I put maybe two, I want to say two um, and a half cups of water. Look at that. This is how I like it. I like it a little softer. For just when I'm eating it regular. But I ate some of this while I was waiting. And the one that came out first. um, It's really soft. You know what else? I think the, um, the broth really does do something to it. Because like I said, I never did it with broth. Um, so I, w I didn't know what to expect. And that's like a reduced sodium broth too. But, um, so I really didn't know what to expect. But, yeah, um, let me put the rest of this butter in here. Um, but, yeah, it came out, um, really flavorful, actually. I didn't put no salt or anything. I usually don't put that extra stuff in it because I just, um, 
it, I just like it, to see how it is when it comes out on its own first. So yeah, you guys. I'm going to make my fried rice tomorrow. For my dinner and lunch. Lunches for the next few days. It's really good to eat off. And it's a simple recipe I uh, found on YouTube. Not YouTube. Instagram. She just does a... Uh, you could put any kind of meat as your protein, like ham, shrimp, chicken, sausage, everything. Like, even one of my coworkers brought me some of hers. She just has a different recipe, though. And, um, wait, let me get this out. Hold on, you guys. Um, but she, she, uh, put a little extra stuff in hers. But, yeah, so... This is my go-to recipe for that. Um, she just puts. Hold on, this thing's like sturdy at all. It's all uh, this reduced sodium, great value. I wasn't expecting much. It was only a dollar too for these. Um, this lady on Instagram though, she. Her mom put, makes it, and she, they just do the rice like they put the uh, bouillon in it. They use that powdered kind of bouillon, and then the and mix it in the water. Just you know, and then um, I forget what else what she does next, but they do that in the rice cooker. Then they put um, whatever meat they're putting, and some uh, green onion. That's why I had to get green onion. Um, and then they put, uh, mm, oh, soy sauce and all that. But the best part that I like of it is that, um, she sautés it in the wok. Like, um, you, all you do is you put, um, butter and garlic in the pan and then you fry the rice in that. That's why they like it the way it was with that first batch because it. It sustains like all that movement and it doesn't get mushy and all that. Um, like the other one, uh, kind of, I don't know if it'll sustain up for that high temperature of cooking like that, but, um, I'm just going to mix all the rice together. So, but yeah, if I was making it for other people, I would probably do it the first way because, um, they really kind of want you to use. Like long grain rice, cause that that holds up more to like like liquids and stuff. But um, and like, cause when I I have I bought a small bag of uh long grain at Winco because I'm gonna be making um Spanish rice. But that I don't know if I'm gonna do it in the stove or what or in that. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in the instant pot. I haven't. I don't know, but um, I love this woman's recipe. It's really good and. Um, one time I did, I did it though. I did another woman's recipe, lady's recipe, and I used jasmine and it got real, like, soggy. Is it still rainy? I didn't even know if it was rain. it was raining, you guys, until, because I was sleeping, right? And then I get up and I look up the door. I was going to bring the trash can in off the curb and, like, um... It's wet out there. I'm like, oh, uh, -uh I ain't sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just, I'm just, I looked up this thing like the other night, and I was like, just kind of cheap, cheap or low cost meal ideas, like, you know, that fill you up and everything. So. Yeah, you guys. And I saw this guy working. He's like, I was like, have you ever had lentils? And then he was like, he said, yeah, and I'm all, would you eat lentils like all the time? Or is it just like, not, is this one of those things that you, you like? They're okay, but you wouldn't eat them all the time. And he was like, he's like, I wouldn't, he's like, they're all right. I, yeah, I wouldn't eat them that much. <laughs> he couldn't even let it kick it because I was like, I was showing him how they said there was a, it's one of those things that they say is filling, right? And I was like, I was thinking of getting some, even though I've never really had those. Um, so, but they don't appear to be something I would care for, but, 
Um, I, the reason why I noticed them is because I have that ham bone for my little ham and, um, I have it in the freezer. So it's ready for when I want to use it to, you know, make, use it for whatever broth or, um, I probably just end up using it for that. Cause I know they have a soup you can make, um, some beans at a store at the store that you could just put the ham bone broth from that. And then I have the chunks of the ham that are from the bottom of it that weren't sliced and um but I don't like I don't really eat that kind of soup so I'm like I don't think I would do that but I, I'm gonna find a way to use it um I could just like make broth or um or use it for something else but it has to be something I would eat, eat like I would want to eat you know I know, yeah, you could use it for split peas or things like that, but those aren't things I really eat either, so. I know it's time to kind of try new things, you know, but it's just, I don't know. I'll see. I, I'll just Google it. What can I do with the handbook? But anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Um, Have a good night. All right, bye.